This video is brought to you by Ultium. Previously, I used this IR sensor and IR remote controller with Arduino for controlling an electric door lock and for controlling the speed of a DC fan. I just love controlling things wirelessly over long distances using the internet as the communication medium and over a short distance using Bluetooth or other RF transceiver modules. You might have watched my videos on ESP32 and ESP8266. ESP32 and ESP8266 Wi-Fi modules are 3.3 volt compatible controller boards and I have been using these controller boards in IoT based projects for controlling electrical devices from anywhere in the world using different IoT platforms including the Blink application, ThinkSpeak, UV Dots, IFTTT, Google Assistant, Firebase and Telegram etc. If you are using any of these IoT platforms or any other IoT platform then you can only control the devices when the controller board is connected with the Wi-Fi. Why use Wi-Fi when we are inside a room? We can use a Bluetooth supported Android application to control different electrical loads or we can use an IR remote controller. I have already explained how to control different electrical loads wirelessly using the ESP32 built-in Bluetooth module and an Android application. So if you want to control your home appliances using Bluetooth and Android application, then go ahead and watch my previous video. I will provide a link in the description. Today I'm going to use the same ESP32 development board with this small size IR remote controller and IR sensor for controlling these four different colored 220 volt AC light bulbs. For demonstration purposes I'm using only four lights. If you want you can increase or decrease the number of lights or you can use some other electrical loads. Anyways before connecting all the four lights with the relays First, I checked all the four lights and by the way, be very careful while working with 220 volt AC because it can be really dangerous. After checking all the four lights, I disconnected the 220 volt AC supply and I started connecting all the four lights with the relays. Don't worry, I will explain all the connections with the help of a circuit diagram. I'm using a 4S lithium ion battery pack for powering up my ESP32 development board. If you want to make the same 3S or 4S lithium ion battery pack, then you can watch my previous video. I will provide a link in the description. You can use any DC power supply between 9 volts and 25 volts as my designed ESP32 development board has a 5 volt regulator. So once everything is powered up then we can use the IR remote controller to control all the 4 lights. But before you watch everything in action, first a few words about the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Altium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. Since I'm controlling four lights, so that's why I'm using only four buttons. Button number one, button number two, button number three and button number four on the IR remote controller. You can use the same buttons to turn on and turn off all the four lights. 
This IR remote controller has more than enough buttons which can be used to control all the electrical loads inside a room. I have been testing this project for hours. There is no fast triggering and the ESP32 controller board is not hanging at all. Now it's time to explain the circuit diagram and programming. Without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. J1 is the DC female power jig and this is where we connect a 12 volt adapter, battery or a solar panel. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. The output of the voltage regulator is connected with the 5 volt pin of the ESP32 module and is also connected with the R pin of the IR sensor. The ground of the power supply is connected with the ground of the ESP32 module and also with the ground pin of the IR sensor which is the ground pin. So make sure all the grounds are connected together. The Y pin of the IR sensor is connected with the GPIO 26 of the ESP32 module. These are 12 volt SPDT type relays and can't be directly controlled using the ESP32 module. So that's why we need a driver to control these relays. You can use a relay driver IC or you can use 2N2222 NPN transistor and a 10 kilo ohm resistor. One pin of the relay coil is connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor while the other pin of the relay coil is connected with the 12 volts. The emitter of the transistor is connected with the ground while the base is connected with the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now to control these relays you simply need to connect these 10 kilo ohm resistors with the ESP32 I/O pins. In this project I am using the GPIO pins 13, 12, 14 and 27. I'll be using the same pins in the programming. The neutral wire from the 110 or 220 volt AC supply is connected with the neutral of all the lights, while the live wire from the AC supply is connected with the lights through these relays. Here is my ESP32 development board. If you want to make the same development board, then you can watch my previous video. I will provide a link in the description. Anyways, I connected my IR sensor and the four lights with the ESP32 development board as per the connections I just explained. Now let's take a look at the ESP32 and IR remote based home automation project programming. Before you start the programming, first of all make sure you install the IR remote library. For this click on the sketch menu, go to the include library and then click on the manage libraries. Search for the IR remote library and install the latest version. As you can see, I have already installed the IR remote library. The IR remote Y pin is connected with the GPIO 26 of the ESP32 module. Next, I defined four pins to which all the four relays are connected. Inside the setup function, I set the baud rate and set all the devices as the output. Inside the loop function, we check if any data is received from the IR sensor. Let's say if a button is pressed on the IR remote, then this line of code will print its hex value. If you want to use any other IR remote, then simply upload this program, open the serial monitor and start pressing the buttons. The button's hex codes will be displayed on the serial monitor. Then you can copy those codes and use them in the programming. This is the code of button number one. This is the code of button number two. This is the code of button number three. And this is the code of button number four. If you want to use button number five, then simply open the serial monitor. 
press button 5 on the IR remote. Do it at least 4 to 5 times to confirm the code. Then copy that code and write another if condition. It's just that simple. The rest of the program is pretty straightforward. We check the code and turn on or turn off the desired load. So that's all for now. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch the ESP32 and IR remote based home automation project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.